Good morning and welcome back to the channel. So this week we've come across the River Forth over to West Lothian and to the beautiful royal town of Linlithgow. Do you want to see around? Come on then! There's a new day to take away your sorrow Linlithgow is probably mostly known for its palace and being the birthplace of Mary Queen of Scots, but it's so much more than that. There is overnight parking available for small campervans and motorhomes in St Ninian's Car Park, which whilst has no facilities, does have direct access to Linlithgow Loch. So the name Linlithgow came from the old meaning of a loch in the damp hollow. It's been occupied since Roman times over 2000 years ago, with the first royal residence being King David in 1124. So although the palace now stands in ruins, it was once a majestic place. And there was three members of the royal family that were actually born here. The first was King James V, followed by Mary Queen of Scots, and then Queen Elizabeth. So let's get the drone up and have a look around Linlithgow Palace and Linlithgow Peel. So the land around the loch is called the Peel. Um, there are actually quite a few crannogs in the middle of the loch, which are little islands, um, which I think were once occupied. So you can walk all the way around Linlithgow Loch. It's about two and a half miles, so it will only take you around about an hour. And it's really, really pretty. Oh look, a steep hill. My favourite! <laughs> Welcome to Wenlithgow Palace. So Mary's statue stands here overlooking the palace. Obviously it was where she was born in 1542 and here she is overlooking what was rumoured to be one of her favourite places to stay. So the ornate fountain was built in 1538 by King James V. And it was rumoured when Bonnie Prince Charlie visited in 1745 that there was wine flowing from it as opposed to water. I wouldn't have minded a visit then. This place is like a maze. And it's a castle lover's dream. So you can walk all the way around the castle through all the little rooms. There's lots of information written on the walls. I think we're almost at the top, guys. So who's the queen of the tower now? Me! Actually, it's not me. It was Queen Margaret. Legend had it that she climbed up here to await the return of her ill-fated husband from the Battle of Flodden in 1513. Hey, 
It's a bit of a resemblance. some good parties in here. The thing about Linlithgow Palace is that it's so vast but it still retains something really magical. You can almost imagine life as it was. Although it is undoubtedly of an earlier origin, the first mention of the Great Church of Linlithgow is in the Charter of 1138. So I think it's coffee and cake time. There are quite a few independent cafes to choose from. The cosy tea room was excellent value, very friendly, and I enjoyed a lovely coffee and a delicious slice of cake. The statue of the black female greyhound is on Linlithgow's crest. It brought food to its owner who was a prisoner on an island in Linlithgow Loch. The Linlithgow Museum offers a warm welcome, interactive features and three galleries with an introduction to the town. For all you Star Trek fans out there, did you know that Scotty's character was born in Linlithgow? The Linlithgow Union Canal Society is a voluntary body and was founded in 1975 to promote and encourage the restoration and use of the Union Canal. Oh, we Dudley. So if you come down to the canal centre, then just pop across the road and have a look at the Dugot Pigeon Palace. So let's go on a canal boat trip. During the open season, there is a tea room and a museum. Graham, one of the volunteers, kindly gave me access to the tea room and the museum just so I could share it with you guys. Funding. In the early days when the canal was being built, we had to build a tunnel near Falkirk the local landowner didn't want the canal running through his grounds. It was it took three years to build because it was using hand tools digging through solid rock and two of the navvies that worked on that section later became Scotland's most notorious criminals, two gentlemen called Barton Hare. Old, <laughs> tour lasted two hours. There was free tea, coffee and biscuits and a toilet on board. The volunteers are clearly very passionate about the canal and were very happy to answer any questions that we had. Avon Aqueduct is a navigable aqueduct that carries the Union Canal over the River Avon. Remember you and I would always find somewhere to hide when we were kids so we could see and hear the water run. The river's gonna cry when you're gone. Gonna cry when you're... 
Sadly, on our way back, we got tangled in the reeds. Ian and Willie worked their socks off to get us back up and running, and we were on our way in no time. Thank you so much, Ian. Thank you. Thanks, Willie. Thank you. What a fab day I had in Linlithgow. I met some amazing people. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Remember it's free. And I'll see you next week for a brand new adventure. Oh, the old ways get washed out by the rain.